Hi and welcome everyone. This is Lisa. Thanks for joining me here today on my YouTube channel or blog. So today I'm sharing a couple cards I created using the Honeybee Stamps Diamond Patterns and Coordinating Dies. When I purchased this stamp set and die set, I my mindset was that this would be great for masculine cards. I don't have a lot of masculine stamp sets. Um, I just haven't found any that really fit the men in my life. And so I thought, well, this would be a good way to create some very basic, you know, generic masculine cards, I guess you would call them. But uh, also later on down the road, I could pull it out and use it for background stamping or during the holidays or however I wanted to use it because it's just basic shapes and they're so easy to use for so many different things. So <clears throat> that was the mindset with this. I did not realize I was going to love it quite as much as I do, but I am having a ball with it. I have lots more ideas to come in the future with it. So keep an eye out for those. So I'm using the stamp uh, stamping tool here because I'm doing so much repeat stamping. It's not necessary, but it's just helpful. I'm using 80 pound Nina cardstock. I'm using the first image that I stamped there was Simon Says Malibu Ink. And then the next two images were Simon Says Smoke Ink. Now I went ahead and laid down two more stamps and I like to overlap them. And now here's where this technique is going to come in. We went ahead and stamped a solid stamped image with the Malibu again. Now we're using the Audrey Blue ink from Simon Says, and we're only going to do about half to two thirds of the triangle and the diamond. We're going to go into Hero Arts Ocean, and we're the darker we go with the ink, the less ink we lay down. And you see there how I just kind of keep making the area I stamp smaller and smaller. So I want to go ahead and finish off this big diamond because I decided that I was going to go with an even darker color on the tip of that triangle. So I'm going back now to blend these colors out and I just went back over with the Audrey Blue and now I'm going back over with the Malibu. I'm going to wipe this stamp off and move it out of the way and then I'm going to use Simon Says Soft Navy and I'm going to hit the very tip of that triangle. Once I have enough ink laid down, then I'll go into the next colors again. But I just tilt the ink pad and kind of swipe it across or bounce it up and down to get this effect. It's real easy. And I have another video that I'll share with you at the end that you can link to that goes into full detail about this technique. Um, so after I did the navy, I went back into the ocean and then to the Audrey Blue and then back into the uh, Malibu. So I decided I was going to lay down some of the soft navy, just solid stamped images in the soft navy color just to add a little bit more interest to this card panel. So once we get these stamped, I'm going to set this to the side and I'm going to let it just do its thing because with dye inks, when you first stamp them, they're kind of blotchy and after about a minute or so, they start to smooth out and it looks so beautiful once it starts smoothing out. Um, and I'm going to let this one set to the side and dry for a little bit while we work on the next panel because we are going to be doing heat embossing on these. So you kind of want to let them sit for a little bit and dry. So this next panel that I'm doing is 80 pound Nina cardstock again, and I'm using Memento ink and cantaloupe and Hero Arts Fresh Peach and Simon Says Hollyhock. So now I'm going to go back over the images that we just stamped and I'm going to use these patterns that come with this stamp set. The first one I just laid down is kind of like an outline of the diamond but it's little dots all the way around it and then we have a stripe that's on the angle with the stripes are a little bit bolder. The smaller diamond is stripes but they go straight across. I'm using uh, Versamark ink. I'm using an anti-static powder and I'm going to go ahead and stamp these and then heat emboss them with gold embossing powder from Simon Says. It is uh, the ultra fine or the fine detail embossing powder and I really do like this embossing powder. So <clears throat> 
I ended up using a lot more than I normally do um, of the anti-static powder because when you have a lot of ink laid down, the powder tends to cling to it. So I went heavy with the pow the anti-static powder to try to help prevent that so I wouldn't have as much to clean off. And once I set this to the side and let it cool off, then I'm just going to take a rag and wipe all that powder off and it's, it doesn't, it's perfectly fine. It doesn't hurt it. So I'm going to do the same thing with this next panel that we that we stamped, um, except I'm adding more to this one. Uh, this one is kind of girly, you know. The colors are very kind of girly to me. So I wanted to add more of the patterns to this one to add more gold to it. Now, I love this set because you can stamp over those solid images with those patterns and the colors come through and with the... Um, gold heat embossing to me it's just so elegant and beautiful that I just want to sit and make these for with so many colors all the colors you know so here I put down some more anti-static powder and I'm using my Versamark ink again we are going to use that same gold embossing powder and we do have to do some cleanup on this one too I'm just using a very inexpensive paintbrush um, from Walmart uh, yeah this I, they even have one I think in a Crayola set that's kind of like this so it's just got some stiff bristles and it's angled so it makes it easier to clean it up so I'm just gonna clear this uh, area off I'm gonna go ahead and heat set this last card panel and then I'm going to take a microfiber cloth and wipe these down now you want to be sure that that um, embossing powder is cooled off before you start wiping on it or it'll smear. And I just wanted to get that anti-static powder off of those and clean them up some. So I went ahead and picked my cardstock for my card bases and I'm using Simon Says Fog. And then I'm using a, a coral color. I want to say it's from Raisin Boat and I want to say it's called Think Pink. I'm not sure that they even sell cardstock anymore, but if they do, I'll link it for you. I'm using Simon Says Thanks Words stamp set for the first card and I'm just going to use Versafine Onyx Black ink and stamp the in, um, the sentiment thanks for lending a hand. I mean that right there you could use that in so many different ways for a guy, for a woman, for I mean it's just such a generic card but it's so beautiful I love the way it turned out for this next one I'm going to actually use a small word die from Simon and it's called hello small hello die is what it's called I did several layers of white to glue together and then gold foil for the top layer to stack on top of the white and I used Gina K connect glue to put all those layers together. I'm just prepping my card bases here um, and then I'm going to add some adhesive to the back of those panels we, we stamped and heat embossed and add them to the card bases. So <clears throat> excuse me for this first one I decided that was it. I was done with it. There was nothing else I could possibly do to it because if I did anything else I was scared I, it would just take away from it. But the second one is kind of girly, so I thought, well, at the end of the video, when I embellish my other cards, I'll add some sequins to the second one, just to give a little bit more bling. Here's some other cards that I did the same way, using different color inks and different color cardstock. So for the next card, I went ahead and I die cut a piece of black cardstock using the Simon Says Sentiment Strips. Amazing uh, die set. It can be used for so many more things than just sentiment strips. Um, I temporary, temporarily laid that down uh, in the center of my card so that I can stamp my image and my sentiment. I'm using this little bee from Honeybee Stamps. It actually comes free with, I, I think it's you spend so much and then you get this little bee. Um, he's so cute too. Anyways, I used a sentiment there from a free stamp set that I received from Concord 9th and it just says hi 
So I add some 3D mounting foam to the back of that card, black cardstock, and then I go ahead and center it back up on my card base. I'm going to take a gel pen and make little dashes to give me that little line um, from the B to the high. And I don't do anything real fancy with this. I just do a little loop and then some up and down, up and down until I get to the high. Once I have that done, then I'm going to go ahead and start adding my pattern paper to this. So the first thing, here's the dies that come with that set and there's the pattern paper that I've cut out. Now it is double-sided pattern paper, so we're gonna use both sides. I'm going to cut these in half using my paper trimmer. You can use scissors too. And then we're going to use some Gina K Connect um, adhesive to lay these the first layer down and then I'm going to use some 3d mounting foam to adhere a second layer um, this is so easy and to me this is such a cute card and what a great way to use your stamps and your die cuts um, I just I love the way I love the co color combination of yellow and white and black and grays and then you throw a little splash of that turquoise in there I just think it's a beautiful color combination to start with so I absolutely love this paper pad it's so beautiful and I just love the way this card turned out and I, I did add a little bit of Copic marker to this with a Y13 and a BG10 so for this next card, I'm going to actually stamp my sentiment first because I know I'm going to do it in the bottom right corner of the card. And this stamp is from that same free stamp set from Concord and Ninth, and it says, you're the best ever. So I thought, really had a Father's Day in mind when I was making this card. Uh, I thought that that would be a great sentiment for Father's Day. Like I said, I don't own any... Um, Father's Day sentiments or Father's Day images or anything like that. You would think that I didn't like my father, but I do. <laughs> but I just have never come across this stamp set that screams David K to me, so I just have never purchased one. Uh, so I do that same thing that I did with the first card where I lay that uh, die cut black card stock down in the center. And now I'm just going to cut these in half with my scissors and then we're just going to use the Gina K Connect lay down the first layer, 3D mounting foam to do the second layer. Now when I purchased this set from Honeybee there was some dies and of course the dies always have to be cut apart but one of the larger or one of the triangles has another triangle inside of it perfectly so I didn't cut those apart I left them and that's how I got that triangle with the open in the center of it now you can cut that smaller triangle out obviously and then place it in there whenever you want to use it but I just when I cut them apart I felt I was not going to have a need right away for that particular those two to be cut apart so I left them and I'm really glad I did because it does make the perfect cutout um, and I love the way that using that with the cutout gives it a little bit more interest to our card. So this is a, another fun way to use pattern papers and those dies. And you don't have to use the stamps if you don't want to with this. I did do a couple of cards where I did stamp some of the patterns and cut those out and use them with pattern paper. And they turned out really pretty too. The only problem with them was when I stamped my sentiment, I stamped the thanks first and it should have been stamped below the this card is full of so yeah those went bye bye okay so I'm taking this little uh, this diamond shape and I'm cutting it long lengthwise so that I can place it up here on the card just to add a little bit of something different a little interest to it I did put a little piece of mounting foam behind it just so that it would hold it up where there was nothing there to hold it up okay so here we are we're at the end of this video we're just going to add some embellishments to and you can see all the cards i made there um we're going to add some embellishments to these now so the first card 
that we did the thanks for lending a hand no embellishments on that i think it's beautiful just the way it is the uh pink peach and yellow card we're going to use honeybee stamps confetti um, it's sequins but just doesn't have a hole in the center of it so it's called confetti now for this paper pad honeybee stamps has coordinating enamel dots i do not have the patience to wait for nouveau drops to dry so i can i don't do those whenever i buy a uh, pattern paper if there is a matching enamel dots i purchase about two packs of them because like I said, I just don't have the patience. I want so bad. So many times I've gone to put them in the cart and then I say, nope, because you know you don't have the patience to wait for that to dry. So I love uh, enamel dots for that reason. And that's just what I do. I wished I had the patience to wait for Nuvo drops to dry, but I don't. So I'm just adding a gray enamel dots to this card and then I added some turquoise or a light turquoise color to the B card and for my uh, pink and peach yellow card there, the hello card, I'm using, like I said, the honeybee stamps confetti and it's called sunlight. Um, I don't know if you've ever happened to take a look at the honeybee stamps sequin slash confetti but absolutely beautiful i ordered so many of them for mother's day the mother's day sale i bet you i ordered 10 packs of sequins from her uh, so if you get a chance hop over there and check them out because they're beautiful okay so here we are we're done with our cards and i, I hope you enjoyed the video I hope maybe you try these for yourself and until next time, my friends, keep crafting and have a beautiful day.